Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work. I'm Dr. Jim Kramer. This is Ruthie. She's a 13-year-old, long-haired chihuahua, spayed female. Ruthie's been referred to us by another veterinarian because she has very little use of her hind legs. She cannot wag her tail, she has no anal tone, and she cannot urinate voluntarily. She has a serious problem here, as you can see. A whole set of problems, all having to do with intervertebral disc disease. The nerves that innervate all of these structures exit the spinal cord in similar places, and so they're all affected at once. So we need for Ruthie not only to gain the use of her hind legs, but also her urinary bladder and her anal sphincter and hopefully her tail as well. You can see that at this point it looks really doubtful that any of that might occur. So we're going to treat Ruthie with our regimen that includes oral medication, intravenous medication, certified acupuncture, class 4 therapeutic laser, hydrotherapy, physical therapy, and hospitalization. My wife, Dr. Ann, is one of the few certified veterinary acupuncturists in the state, and she's had a lot of experience with this exact problem, and also a great deal of success. That Ruthie tolerates the treatment well. The idea of, of sticking needles into a dog to make it better seems counterintuitive, but they really don't seem to mind it at all. Even enjoy the attention. It has been proven using Western methods how and why acupuncture works why it makes any difference if you put a needle in a particular place in an animal. These points tend to be at neuromuscular junctions where nerves innervate muscles to cause activity by either upregulating or downregulating. And now we see class 4 therapeutic laser being applied. Ruthie is wearing her doggles so that her eyes will not be injured by the laser, although the possibility is remote, but it's a safety precaution. You can see that her hair looks wet here, and that's because she's had hydrotherapy. The buoyancy of the water can help fight gravity so that she can gain some strength, and you can see there she's standing on her own. The green wrap is covering an intravenous catheter in her left leg. And now it's several days later and you can see that she's standing with more confidence. She's also able to lift her tail, so this is a big accomplishment. She still can't advance, though to walk she cannot advance her hind feet. So it's been several days since the beginning and she's showing improvement but still struggling. By now she's received intravenous medications, several different oral medications, several acupuncture treatments, several class 4 therapeutic laser treatments and you can see that she can right that paw when it's knuckled over but the left one she really struggles with. This knuckling over phenomenon is known as a proprioceptive deficit, and you can see she is improving. And here, yet another acupuncture treatment. So now this is the seventh day since Ruthie came to see us, and you can see she can actually walk. She has used her tail. She's regained her ability to urinate voluntarily. She goose stepped a little bit, but light years better than when she came in where she could not begin to stand to walk at all on her hind legs. Now she can do both. She can gain her feet and she can shuffle right along. So Ruthie is going to go home and continue her progress. We hope she's done very well. Good job, Ruthie. He's hung in there with us. He kept trying and look how well you've done.
Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work.